Vitale. On this episode of Lauren in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make chicken cacciatore. Just a very simple classic Italian dish, and I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to make. But here's what you'll need. You need some onions, some red peppers, garlic, cremini mushrooms, some peeled plum shaped tomatoes in their juice, two and a half pounds of skinless boneless chicken thighs, some fresh basil, hot pepper flakes, red wine, some extra virgin olive oil, and salt and pepper. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to slice your onions so that they're half moon shapes and then cut that in half because you want everything to be about bite-sized pieces. Same thing, with your, uh, same thing with your peppers and just cut your cremini mushrooms in quarters or if they're really small just cut them in half. Okay, I preheated a really large non-stick pan and I put about three to four tablespoons of olive oil in there. Just so I'm going to saute the chicken first just to get it browned up and ready to go. I've just salt and peppered the top of the chicken. Okay, I'm going to put it the seasoned side down so you can season the other side. Now this is going to feed six to eight people. I'm just going to do it this way. And you don't ever want to overcrowd the pan because you'll end up steaming your chicken rather than sauteing it. That is searing it. I'm just going to salt and pepper the other side. Okay, I'm going to let this go for about three or four minutes on each side until it's nice and golden and brown. Then I'm going to flip it, then I'm going to take this out of the pan and do the second batch. Now the chicken, my second batch of chicken, I've seared on both sides. So now I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to saute my onions and my peppers. Okay. It's not cooked all the way through, but you can see that each side is kind of nicely and light and golden brown. That's what you want. Okay, I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to put in my onions and my peppers first. And this is with one huge onion, but you can always do two medium onions. Okay, you want everything to be about bite-sized pieces, just so that it cooks evenly, and it's just much easier to eat. Okay. You want to saute these until everything kind of gets caramelized and starts to cook down. I would say about five minutes or so. Okay, give them a little toss. And let these go for at least five minutes. Okay, my caramelized onions and peppers are just about where I want them. Now I'm going to add the mushrooms. Okay. Now this is all going to wilt down quite a bit, so... Okay, I'm just going to put a little salt and pepper in these. Okay, you want to salt, you want to salt and pepper every element of your dish so that it's nicely seasoned all around. Okay, and I'm also going to add my garlic. So I've got two cloves of garlic chopped. Okay. Now I don't have a lid for a pan of this size, and if you don't either, just take some aluminum foil and cover it over the top. And uh, but I have a really big pizza platter, pizza plate, so I'm just going to use that as a lid. Put a lid on for about, um, I would say. 7 to 10 minutes. I really want all the juices from the mushrooms to come out because I want to be able to use that juice with the red wine and the tomatoes to create a really nice sauce for the chicken. So, lid on, medium heat, 7 to 10 minutes. Okay, this has been cooking for 7 minutes now. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, the onions are nice and caramelized. The peppers are really nicely cooked. Okay, the mushrooms are exactly where I want them. So now, I'm going to hit it with some hot pepper flakes. Now in every version of chicken cacciatore that I've ever made, I've ever eaten, there's always some hot pepper flakes in there. So, here we go. Now just to taste, you can put as much or a little as you want. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to add the chicken back in because I'm going to add some red wine 
And I want the red wine to cook together with the chicken and all the juices from the vegetables. Some of the vegetables over the chicken. Put in some red wine. I would say about a cup or so of red wine. Okay, let this cook for a few minutes. And then we'll add our tomatoes. Now that the onions and the wine and the chicken, they're all cooked together, I'm gonna add in my tomatoes. Now this is a can of whole tomatoes. Just because I don't want to use any tomato puree, I want the tomatoes to be like another vegetable. I want it to have some texture. Making sure that everything is kind of mixed, mixed well. Now I'm going to add in some fresh basil. About, I don't know, six or seven leaves. Just tear them up. Okay, I'm going to season it with a little salt and pepper, lid on, and this is going to cook for about an hour and 15 minutes. So it's been about an hour and 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, this is perfect, absolutely perfect. You see the chicken's falling apart, nice and tender. The sauce with the red wine and the veggies is reduced. Okay, I'm just gonna put in some more fresh basil. Okay. And here you have it. Let me just take my little pretty bowl. Okay, there we have it. Just finish it off with a nice sprig of basil. And there it is, chicken cantatory. Simple, easy, and above all delicious. To get this recipe and other recipes, visit my website at www.laurainthekitchen.com and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.